Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about cover letters and how you can write one yourself successfully that is going to increase the chances of you getting your resume noted, getting an interview, of course, also increasing the chances of you getting the job. Now, the four main purposes of a cover letter is number one, to obviously introduce yourself. Number two, to show the recruiting manager or the company the, the skills and the value that you bring to the table. Number three, to encourage them to check out your resume so that you can so that they can see more in detail what you what your skills are, what your strengths are. And number four, obviously to get an interview. That's those are basically the four purposes of a cover letter. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through a successful cover letter that is only going to have five parts. You know, to, in my opinion, gone are the days when you just send a full essay of a cover letter. Of course, unless you are requested to write one. But in a cover letter, uh, when you introduce yourself, when you just give the skills that you bring to the table and your resume, basically it's, it's too much, you know, in my opinion, because recruiting agents and recruiting managers or engineering managers, whatever, whomever is hiring, they have a lot on their plate. They have a lot to do on a daily basis. So if you send them a cover letter and you send them a whole paragraph to read, I mean, how would you feel when somebody just sends you a, a just a lengthy email, very bulky with a lot of details and perhaps a lot of irrelevant and empty information? Like, no, 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 no. Just, just you need to be straight to the point. You need to be concise. You need to tell them what you're looking for, what you bring to the table, and what you need them to do. So in order to help you do that, I am going to go over the cover letter that I developed and it's going to have five parts, very easy, very straight to the point. And if you are interested in downloading the cover letter, I am going to leave in the description of this video the link where you can go download the cover letter, use the template, edit the information, and you'll be on your way to increase the chances of you get an interview, the job. So let's go. Part number one of the cover letter is going to be you need to know who is going to be receiving the letter? Who are you sending it to? And in my opinion, this is gonna be a lot more effective than sending it randomly to a dear sir or a dear man. Because when you personalize the correspondence that you're sending, you are basically holding the other person responsible for replying to you. Like think about it, if you receive a letter and it just it's very generic, like no one cares, no one is gonna respond. So find out who is going to be receiving the letter on the other end, or at least use your judgment and do the best that you can to know who is going to be receiving it. Worst case scenario, if you really go nowhere and trying to find this information and just go with dear sir, dear ma'am, that will do the job. The second part of a successful cover letter is gonna be giving the reason to the recruiter of why you are contacting them. Like why are you sending them your resume in a cover letter? So this is when you say something along the lines of, I am contacting you to inquire about the technical writer engineering position that you have available on the website. Something along those lines. So that's going to pique the interest of the recruiter and tell them, oh, okay, that makes sense. What does this guy have to say? So you are increasing the interest of the person that is checking out your recovery letter. And this is when you basically hit him with a punch. This is when it's very important. And this brings me to part three. Part three is gonna be you giving a very high level insight to your skills and the value that you bring for the position that you're applying to. Of course, all the information that you give them has to be relevant to the position that you just told them about. And you just end it there. You just give them a couple of reasons why Tain giving you more time and reading more of your cover letter. And after you give them the reason of knowing more about you now they're a little more intrigued they know okay well this guy has some experience you know this guy or gal they have some experience and i think they can be useful to the position so this brings me to part four a successful cover letter which is going to be you giving the recruiter encouragement to check out your resume and digging a little deeper about you to know the value that you bring to the table your experience your skills your strengths so at that point you know, that recruiter is already either interested or it's not interested, but you don't let him go. You don't let him go until you ask for an interview or you ask for a chance to at least talk about the position, you know? So this is when the fifth part of a successful cover letter comes in and you tell him something along the lines of, 
I would love to sit down with you and go over in detail of the value that I bring to the table based on my experience. And not only that, but also to explore other opportunities within the company if there are any others available. So this is very important because you're basically trying to open more doors of the company. Sometimes companies don't post all the vacant positions that they have on hand. Uh, maybe they have no time or... So you never know what's going to happen within a company. So you want to let them know that you're interested in one position, but you are also open to exploring others within the company. And this is especially useful when you are just like <laughs> kind of desperate to get something going and you just need to like get a job. And so of course, always leave the doors open. Don't burn any bridges. So those are all the five pieces to a successful cover letter in my opinion. Five parts, very concise, precise to the point. Don't BS with all this like your history, like what all this like stuff from the past, you know, just be straight to the point and again, unless otherwise directed. If you are given directions on how to submit a cover letter and you're given format requirements and directions, like that's completely different. All right, guys, with that being said, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below if you have any comments. Uh, also, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, you can just send me a message and let me know uh, how I can help. And with that being said, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.